holiday time at the Johnsons. The president plays host to the press as they await the arrival of Chancellor Ludwig Erhardt of Germany. The LBJ Texas spread has never had a more enthusiastic group with heartier appetites, and for a chaser, they are treated to press secretary Pierre Salinger taking the horseback with his boss. The president rides Lady B, a Tennessee walking horse of the kind used extensively by ranchers. Mr. Salinger uh, rides a red and white paint. Then to the airport to await the arrival of the German chancellor. But first, there are dozens of Texas hands to shake. Mr. Earhart is the first foreign chief of state to be received officially by the president since he assumed office. Before official business, there's a taste of Texas hospitality at the school gym in nearby Stonewall. Much of this area was settled by German pioneers, and the chancellor is greeted with cheers in both languages. Noted pianist Van Cliburn heads an entertainment program that includes Deep in the Heart of Texas, sung in German. An old-fashioned barbecue strikes the note of informality that marks the entire visit of the chancellor. Both the chancellor and the president have been in office only a short time, but seem to have struck up an immediate friendship. Now for that international language of music, as Van Cliburn plays the most famous of German composers, Ludwig van Beethoven. After this pleasant interlude, the two men settle down to a series of conferences and issue a joint statement on the final day of the Chancellor's visit. The United States reaffirms its pledge to maintain German defenses, and both leaders promise to explore all avenues in joint efforts to lessen East-West tensions, an historic visit that strengthens this Western alliance.